iPhone 14 Pro review, take one. Welcome to my review on the Google Pixel 6 Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro. I had the iPhone for seven years. I used the iPhone from 2010 to 2017. In 2017, I switched to the Google Pixel. The first year the Pixel came out, I used it. So I have experience with the iPhone and the Pixel seven years each. This video I'm gonna be recording right now is the, is the iPhone 14 Pro. The second half will be recorded with the Google 6 Pro. Now, the reason why I went to the Pixel is because of Google Fi. Google Fi is something that is um, pretty awesome, but they kicked me off in April. So I can't use Google Fi internationally. So what better reason? I went back to the iPhone, which is available with uh, Google Fi anyways. So I'm gonna talk about my experience using the two phones and we're gonna have a winner at the end. The Pixel, it started off strong. It started off strong. It had a bunch of a fanfare 2017, great phone, great phone. It started off strong. And then the first years of improvement, it kept improving. I was stoked because it was also kind of unique and the cool thing, it had a good camera. And then 2019, we're at 20, less improvement, less improvement and especially the customer support. So imagine this, back in 2017, 2018, Imagine going on your phone, having a problem, going on your phone, talking with a customer support specialist on the phone and getting your problem solved right then and there. It was actually incredible. And then that went away, they outsourced their service and it was just a waste of time. All of these little annoying things made me come back to the iPhone, which I just picked up today. There you go, Daniel. Yeah, treasure, Thank you. So we're gonna compare, I'm gonna talk about my experience of the Google Pixel, then I'm gonna go into the iPhone, tell you a little bit of pros and cons. Let me know if, to, like I said, today I purchased it, let me know if you want me to come back in a week and talk about more about my experience after coming back to the iPhone for a week or two. Now look, I just wanna be honest, I'm not a phone guy, I'm not a tech guy, I'm not gonna talk about the technical specifications, the processor, this and that. I'm about, is it usable? Is it fun to use? Are they improving the usability? I'm not about the, you know, there's only so many years they can improve the camera by, you know, 69%. Okay, and when things don't work, can I figure it out or do I have to take a master class in order to figure it out? So the Pixel 6, it has a lot of these like really small issues that add up to something that's kind of not enjoyable to use. First problem, they don't have facial recognition. They took that away a few years ago, really annoying. All right, but they have fingertip recognition, but it doesn't really work so, so well. 60% of the time I'm doing it twice and then it's swiping up and saying, we don't recognize, enter your phone. Annoying. It's the only cell phone, I don't know if you can see this, but it's the only cell phone that I cracked. I don't wear a case, I don't have a case and I just don't drop my phone. But the camera notch here is so big and unruly that I swear I would put it down on the edge and it would, it would just find the edge and crawl to it and fall over. I swear I put it on the edge, I look back and I hear a few times until it finally cracked. That's a bummer. In the past, if I wanted to turn off notifications, which I do, productivity hack, turn off all phone notifications. I've done this for years, I highly recommend it. In the past, if I wanted to do that, one click, Google Pixel. Now, if I want to do that, it's like three clicks and it doesn't even work so well all the time. I'm constantly seeing notifications and in order to turn off the individual application notifications, it used to be one click, now it's two clicks. The connection between the Google Play Store and the apps, it's not strong. For example, Blinkist, I just um, re-downloaded the other day and tried to connect my existing subscription in the Google Play Store to the application and it didn't recognize it. So what did I have to do? Well, I had to take a masterclass to figure that out, 30 minutes. For all my language learners out there, if you're changing your phone language, it doesn't work so well. I'm, I speak English, Spanish, and Portuguese. I switch between the two quite often and sometimes it just doesn't work or sometimes some apps, some apps are changing or some apps aren't. I'm not sure what's going on there, but it's a little bit annoying. Some other annoying things. When I wanna just tap the screen to, to, to get the time, it doesn't work. I'm tapping it and it's not working. That's annoying. Also on the Google phones, the Androids, you can actually swipe down to see or swipe up to see all of the apps and the top five apps are recommended apps. But if you don't wanna have certain apps recommended that you use often, you can say so, but it doesn't work. They're still up there at the top left corner where, where the first one you would, you would know. So another annoying thing. Now the coolest thing about the Pixel is that it is unique and expensive looking. It looks nice. So when I travel, oftentimes people would be, people would see this and they'd say like, oh, it looks nice, but I've never seen it before. What is it? I'd say it's Google, I'd point to this. And they'd always be like, whoa, that's cool. And so that made me feel cool. And I appreciated that. One cool thing though, I will say about the Google Pixel that I just figured out today with my friends who had the iPhone is the Google Pixel has built in the Google Lens 
Uh, my friend wanted to know uh, what this flower was and we didn't know and I took a picture of it and it said what the flower was. Now, luckily for iPhone users, you just go to the store and download the Google Lens. I'm not sure about the functionality between the two, but I'm sure they're similar. Now we are recording with the Google 6 Pro. Here's the iPhone that I just purchased. Now, look, the Pixel had potential, like I said, had potential, but we all know the, the iPhone is just a better phone. The Apple system is better. Um, even using the Pixel for the past few years, I just had to be honest and people ask me, is it a good phone? I was like, it's a good phone, but honestly, your Apple iPhone is better. It is, it's just better. So I'm looking forward to using the this iPhone and um, seeing how it compared to the last seven years. I'm hoping it is a pleasure to you. Now, physically, the Pixel looks nice, but the iPhone looks nicer. A big thing is Instagram, and everyone knows Instagram works better on the iPhone. The videos are better. The video posts are better. The Android uh, power users, they say, well, it's so customizable, it's cool. And let me tell you, after using the Android for seven years, the, custom, the, custom, the customizability of it is not a strong suit. All that means is more things break, you have to figure it out. There's more apps on the iPhone, and when, when apps come out, they come out first on the iPhone. Videos are better on the iPhone. Um, like I said, I don't know about the tech specs, but just visually, my friend has an iPhone, I've got the Google Pixel, and the iPhone looks nicer, especially on Instagram. And especially when you wanna pan the video like this, on the Google Pixel, it looks a little bit wobbly, it doesn't look like real life. I noticed um, that on the iPhone, when you pan like this, it looks really smooth. So, in conclusion. iPhone is the winner. I agree. Based on my seven years using iPhone and Pixel. Now, before I let you go, can you help me with your favorite apps or features to reintroduce me to the iPhone? Let me know in the comment section. I'll meet you there. Till next time, ciao.